you uh, got anything more for us this evening? Uh, yeah, I got a, a mate who I was actually. Oh, yeah, I yeah. forgot to ask you about this. Yeah, yeah Ben. So we a were... spooky sale for our Halloween special. <laughs> <laughs> So my mate, uh, Bams, he, we were going to do, get into some Ouija board shit. Kind of glad we didn't. You know, don't want to be cursed for life. I've done it a few times and I have, even in my haunted house, I've gotten like zero results, eh? Zero results. Which is bizarre. Right? I know, I know. I, I had some results. I'm that lame, the ghost won't even talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, man, I'm messing with this yeah. guy. <laughs> well... Apparently, him and his mate did it. They did it in a tree house. There was maybe four or five of them in mm. total. And uh, one of them ended up getting thrown against a wall. Really? Yep. Yeah, they had to burn that shit up. Like, absolutely. I, mean, I actually... You said it there? I have a book on um, how to utilise Ouija boards and end the session and stuff like that. I read the entire thing before using my Ouija board. And I was like, fuck yeah, you're going to contact the dead. And then yeah. in my haunted house... And then nothing happened. Yeah. It was rather anticlimactic. It's a little anticlimactic. Mm, I know. You didn't have a mad faker who was willing to push the glass and take one from I the I hate team. those cunts. You're like... I'm like, I can see your finger. <laughs> yeah, it's just going it's white. white. Yeah, it's going <laughs> white. <They're> like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had that. But uh, what about sleep paralysis? You ever had any sleep paralysis? Um, yeah, science can't explain that. Right? Yeah, so I have had sleep paralysis um, twice in my fucking life. Um, both after. So this is the only way I sort of fucking normalise it. Fuck, I hate that word, normalise. Um, but it was after, both times was after a huge weekend. I'm talking Friday to Sunday, um, Larry Yep. And um, it was in my old place at Brown Street. Did you yeah. ever come there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I had the sleep paralysis. So I was completely awake and I was facing the stairs where it came up to my bedroom and I could see two dark figures like walking up and like I could not fucking move and I was so scared and they came towards me and I was just trying to like slowly move a finger and then eventually like. Yep. And, and yeah, yeah, you gone. do. That's exactly mm. what it is. You kind yeah. of shudder back it, into it, life. It's only ever happened to me twice um, during my um, early 20s. Um, during that phase of life. Yeah. But um, um, thankfully, it's never happened to me again. Have you ever had it? I had a couple of experiences, but only in one house one time, and it was a fellow by the name of a Queef. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Queefsy. Mm. Um, and apparently, he'd had an experience where a light had turned on in the shed out of nowhere. Apparently, mm. people used to cook meth there. Who knows? Mm. But... I all of my sleep paralysis experiences were there, and there was one where I was just laying there, and I couldn't, I couldn't fucking move. I was aware, mm. couldn't move, and then I saw this cat, much like your cat. Mm. I think it was a cat. It was mm. a small thing. It walked up alongside the bed, and there was something in the corner, mm. a black figure. Mm. And as I'm becoming aware, just intense fear, right? Yeah, yeah, it's crippling. Oh, it's you, crippling. You, you, you don't know how to process mm. it. It's that strong. And as this this thing rolled up alongside my bed, I assume it was a cat because it went, eh, mm. which was the exact moment I shut it back in the life and yeah. I could move again. Well, Terrified do you remember, me. Do you remember the house we first met at, uh, my old party house back when we were like, <laughs> I don't know, oh, yeah. what, 20? Yeah. And um, <laughs> so, man, do you remember that one night because I was always saying there was always weird like vibe in the house and no one wanted to stay there by themselves. Mm -hmm. And then that one night we went into the shed and um, it was a pre we found a whole box of the previous occupant journals. Jesus. And he was talking about like one day off heroin, next day. Just did heroin. And there was all these, like, satanic drawings. It was just fucking spun out. Hey, but no one, like, there was three of us living there and no one ever wanted to stay in that house by themselves. bad hey. energy. It, it fucking was, man. Hey, yeah. it fucking was. So, Bams had a sleep paralysis paralysis experience where he was laying, he was sleeping on, his, on the front of him. Mm. Um, so, back up to the ceiling. And he was aware suddenly of something crawling into the room. Or yeah. skidded. Skidded is yeah. probably the better word. And he thought, what the fuck's that? And then he said it felt like a cat. Mm. It walked up along his back. He could feel it yes. on his back. Yeah. It walked up onto his back, got up to his ear, mm. and it whispered something. He doesn't know what it whispered. It yeah, whispered. Incoherent, like, goblin noises. in his ear. Yeah, yeah, he couldn't move or anything. Whispered in his ear. And after that, he freaked out. He could move. Boom. Yeah, it, it, it is like uh, rather crippling when you do experience something like that. Eh? But it's the same with you any sort of... Um, sleep. 
No, <laughs> it's the same with any sort of fucking paranormal thing. Like, as you know, um, the haunted houses that I fucking lived in, the UAP, UAPs that I've seen before, like, you see it and then you're like, hmm, I'm unsettled. Because, yeah. you know, um, normal, like, biological science says this doesn't exist. And then yep. you experience it and you're like, ugh. Yep. And no one believes you. 